Welcome to the tutorial uh, 3D Studio Max. Uh, in front of me is a character called Battle Dwarf. Uh, today we are going to be looking at uh, how to rig Battle Dwarf um, using biped. Um, there's the biped example. Notice the short legs, the extended arms, and the, uh, the wider pelvis area and shoulder area. So the first thing we're going to do is to uh, it's going to delete the, uh, the original biped and start a brand new uh, brand new biped structure and you do that through the systems biped object type and we're going to drag a, a biped in the screen and and bring the height up and the first thing when you're using uh, any type of, of uh, system where you're scaling and editing biped uh, biped figures is you go into what's called a figure mode and we're going to drag the figure over to the, uh, the monster and another thing you want to do in the monster itself is make it uh, um, uh, transparent, Alt X on the keyboard, or you can right click properties and go see through. Um, um, now that we've got the biped in here, um, should all, first thing is just match the, uh, uh, the track selection, the vertical uh, position of the um, center of mass, which is called body vertical and match it to the pelvis area then what I do is I guide the shoulders I'm going to zoom in here as you can see and you guide the structure of the shoulders okay for any character so that it matches the uh, the uh, the character shoulder so about this position once that's done um, in this case because the pelvis has to be wide I'm going to grab the pelvis area go into the scale mode and I'm going to scale, uh, go into uh, scale mode here, and just going to go in perspective mode, so you can see, and go in the Z and scale out the uh, the pelvis, and I'm going to go into the shoulder area. Now notice I'm selecting the character. One of the techniques I use is under Tools. There's a little dialog called Bone. I'm going to grab the bone and scale that shoulder to match and I'm going to go over here and grab this shoulder to match and so then you've got two shoulders and set up and then we rotate the legs okay before we start scaling and rotate the shoulders and in each direction and notice the uh, the uh, shoulders the uh, the uh, elbows do not match. We're going to have to scale each arm. Now you can cut and paste, but if you have an asymmetric um, beast, um, you're going to want to uh, do each one separately. So that's scaled up, and that hands to, to match. Now, most of my beasts, you can do the fingers if you required. Um, you could have the fingers boned up too. And then, now that the legs are scaled, um, I'm going to just bring the leg foot in to match. And they're a little long on the uh, the upper leg, so I'm going to bring that one in, to match the knee, and match the knee here. Okay, so just do a little bit of tweaking on the rotation. And don't be scared to have your bones um, um, over, go over the skin. Okay, it is it will affect your behavior, but of your bones. But don't be afraid to have a bit of your bones um, set up for uh, um, so. I'm going to match the hands now. <clears throat> and finally I'm going to uh, bring this in more and just make sure the feet are going to be in a proper location okay bring this hand in a bit more to match this hand check this hand out and it looks good only thing left is the head 
And what I'm going to do for this character um, is going to go in and make sure that the head has an extra neck length. So it's a little longer. Then I'm going to rotate these neck lengths so the head matches. Maybe one more neck length. And then scale the head a bit more to match the character's head. Voila, you've got your monster rig. So the ultimate thing is to do a test, a skin test. We're going to grab the, uh, should do a save at this point, um, but grab the monster, um, oh, the body in this case, and then we'll add a skin modifier. We're going to go add bones, and we're going to display by children so you can see the hierarchy and expand all just so you can see there's all the biped that we created and what we did is we added that to the skin so now what you should be able to do if you go into bone mode <coughs> is do a skin check so we can see that the, the arm works great on both sides the feet work great <coughs> And then the ultimate is the spine of the character and the head. Let's go in here and move the head. Now make sure you always <coughs> um, attach your eyes and your mouth and your teeth to the bone of the biped head. Okay? And when you're done, you should have a fully rigged character to animate. Now there's going to be some problems with the skin modifier in a few areas. The shoulders in this case because of the huge neck and head will be an issue. Um, usually around the shoulders, the knee area and pelvis. In this case because of the type of mesh it is, the shoulders definitely an issue. So there's our rigged character. Thank you.